Hi, my name is Jamie DeYong and I created this video, Limits of the Form 0 over 0, for the course Math 135 at the University of Toronto this term. The goal of this video is to see when we can apply L'Hopital's rule and to use L'Hopital's rule on limits of the form 0 over 0. Now, we're going to do this through a specific example uh, and perhaps a somewhat challenging one. So we have a limit here, the limit as x goes to 0 of k plus cosine of mx divided by x squared. And the uh, goal is to find all of the values of k and m such that this limit is negative 4. So rather than just trying to evaluate the limit, we're actually uh, attempting to find these values that make the limit uh, give this specific value. So. Uh, generally, when we have uh, a limit like this, the first thing that we might want to do is see what happens when we substitute 0 in for x uh, to see if there's uh, a really simple um, expression for it or if we're going to have to do something more complicated. So what happens at x equals 0? So we have k plus cosine of mx. This will be cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. And we have x squared in the denominator, which will be 0. So we have k plus 1 over 0 is uh, sort of the uh, first indication we get of the behavior of this function as x goes towards 0. It tends towards k plus 1 over 0. So the question is, what does the numerator actually look like? Well, if k plus 1 is not equal to 0, then we have some constant uh, value divided by 0. This means the limit will go to either negative infinity or infinity. So if the numerator is non-zero, we have a constant over zero, and this limit will be undefined, which means, of course, that it won't be equal to negative four. And we're looking specifically for this limit to give negative four. So we can therefore assume that the numerator is zero. And this means that k is negative 1. So now we have the limit as x goes to 0 of negative 1 plus cosine of mx divided by x squared. This is the limit that we're looking for now that we know the value of k. So this is of the form 0 over 0. And that means we're going to have to do something else. And L'Hopital's rule would give us um, potentially a way to solve a limit of this form. So L'Hopital's rule says that this is the same as the limit as x goes to 0 of the fraction formed by the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. So we'd like to differentiate both the numerator and the denominator. Negative 1 differentiates to uh, 0. It's just a constant. Cosine differentiates to negative sine, but we have to use the chain rule because we have this mx uh, as this internal function. So on the numerator, we'll get negative m times sine of mx. And in the denominator, we differentiate x squared, and we'll get 2x. By L'Hopital's rule. So this limit is equivalent to the limit we would like to calculate. Now, if we substitute 0 into this, we get sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0. It doesn't make a difference that we multiply it by negative m. It's still 0. And in the denominator, we get 2 times 0, which is 0. So this is still 
of the form 0 over 0. Now, of course, uh, just as we did before, we can actually apply L'Hopital's rule to this again. So sometimes we need to apply it twice, and this is, or potentially more times, and this is one of those cases because it's still in the form 0 over 0. So again, we will differentiate the numerator. Sine differentiates to cosine, and once again, we have this function mx uh, inside, so we'll have to use the chain rule, and overall we'll get negative m squared cosine of mx. And in the denominator, we have 2x, which differentiates to 2. So L'Hopital's rule gives us this new fraction, uh, which has an equivalent limit to the function that we started with. Now this one can't have the form 0 over 0 because the denominator is 2. So uh, let's see what happens to the numerator. Well, if x is 0, then cosine is 1. So this is going to give us something of the form negative m squared over 2. So now we've managed to evaluate the limit. Now the question was, for what values does this give negative 4? So if negative m squared over 2 is negative 4, then m squared equals 8 and m equals plus or minus root 8. So in uh, conclusion, we discovered that k equals negative 1 and m equals plus or minus root 8. Uh, the values uh, that would make this function have a limit of negative 4. Okay, so uh, first of all, we had to uh, determine what forms we could actually apply L'Hopital's rule to. So we needed to uh, define the value of k to make this actually have the form 0 over 0 that would make L'Hopital's rule uh, apply. And then we applied L'Hopital's rule twice to uh, actually evaluate the limit, and that enabled us to figure out the value for m. So, I'd like to leave you with a couple of exercises. The first is an example uh, just of the use of L'Hopital's rule, and the second is a similar sort of exercise to what we did in this video. Um, we've got a limit involving k, m, and n uh, as uh, arbitrary values, and the goal is to find the values of those so that the limit is 36. If you have any questions about either of these exercises, feel free to come and talk to me in office hours or discuss on Piazza. Thank you.